<laughs> You're calling from an 805 area code. Who are you? Where are you calling from? My name is uh, Brian. I'm calling from Ridgewood, Queens. Holler. Uh, What's up? What's going on, man? And, uh, well, so uh, I was at the uh, North Brooklyn DSA meeting last night. Yeah, what do you want, I a fucking cookie? Jamie was at it. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I thought I recognized Jamie's voice speaking up uh, somewhere in there uh, during the meeting, uh, it, which is kind of fun. But uh, I, I just, there was a thing... Um, going on they're, they're they're doing like a whole tenant organization thing right uh they're they're you know trying were to, you there you know, do, i yeah. was there did okay. we do you did we talk to each other yeah I, my 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 ears were i guess correct uh i guess you didn't talk like, to each other minute. his I, ears were correct he he knew you were there yeah but no did not speak to you <laughs> oh, okay no it was weird i don't know i was just like hold on a second that i don't know anyway sorry uh Fucking hey, creep whoa. alert say, over say, here! Say but hi uh, next time, it's way less creepy to just say hi. I don't think any part of I this am, is creepy I, until I, you guys I, said well, it was I creepy. Didn't my, I hadn't turned my head, and I, I hadn't. I, I was just like, "What? That sounds very familiar." What? It's oh, like, yeah, all right. We're gonna anyways, put a restraining but, on no, you, no, sir. No worries. No worries. I'm making oh, it even Jesus. worse. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm a nice, uh, very nice, approachable person. Yeah, so. you guys are. You guys are. Just oh, I was simply trying to fix the culture in many ways. We're all um, comrades. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely oh, derailing this. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, um, the day but, more uh, drop. Could you hear that drop, <laughs> sir? No, you oh, you couldn't hear it? No, I actually couldn't. What was the? What was it? Can you hear it now? Play it for him now. No, no, it's it's not going through. We're not playing yet. Don't worry. Okay, you got it. Housing DSA <laughs> meeting. Okay, so housing DSA <laughs> meeting. You were there on a, a yeah. both a, a stalking and political mission. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> but so, there, <laughs> there's um, it's basically I have an organizing question, and I I mean I know there's a ton of resources I could probably look at for this, but when you're doing organizing, like like forming a union where like you can actually get in trouble and like there's there's stuff where like people can get kicked out of their homes like mm-hmm. for trying to like unionize or organize or whatever like how the hell do you like as a you know millennial white dude you know who moved here to do like comedy and stuff like how the hell do i like is it even my place to yes to yes don't get try worried to, like convince people that yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, first of all, I mean, I'm not saying the specifics of how you do something, but one of the things I love, there was this great mm-hmm. panel with Adolph Reed and he got, you know, and he's really one of my sort of prime influences and he got one of these like very like, you know, again, you know, it's, it's like, of course, you know, and listen to people, be aware of your context, don't bulldoze them with your thoughts and whatever. But someone was giving one of these like laborious, like sort of like, you know, I'm, I'm white, blah, blah, blah. How do I talk to black people? <laughs> Which is you know, kind of pretty weird for me. Right, out. like that's... Right, it's like a very weird... And, and Adolf Reed was like, well, you go and you open your mouth and you talk. <laughs> like, you know, so I right. think that like, look, man, if you are trying to do serious work uh, in, a, in, a, in a way that is responsive to people's needs and connected with what's going on, that's what matters. Uh, and it's everybody's yeah. place to do it because everybody needs to do it. I mean, we, I don't think we have much time for these sort of endless navel-gazing about that stuff. Well, not for nothing. Yeah, I get kind of tired of the hand-wringing. I... But... Yeah, we got to do it. It's important. People's houses, people's lives, like th- this is real stuff. So, I mean, I don't know the specifics when people are, you know, you would know better than me if you're doing that organizing work, but I would not, you know, there's no like sort of normal scenario uh, where you couldn't engage in that if you have a, you know, thoughtful, intelligent, aware, sociable, (laughs) you know, basic skills here. So, yes. Is sure. there anything else? I mean, I think the DSA does a pretty good job of walking that line between being aware of our privilege as white gentrifiers or whatever and also forming a coalition across all working class people. I think we got we totally. can do both. No, sorry, I'm interjecting too much. I suck at calling it. I'm no, dude, 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 stop. No, stop. no. <laughs> 
what, what you're did delightful. you have? Do you have anything else? Uh, did, I mean, is that? I hope we're kind of getting to what you're asking. That, that, no, that that does kind of clear it up. I was just I was talking with my girlfriend after the the, the thing, and she was just like, "What? Because she's not like a DSA member. She just she kind of joins me on these things, and she was kind of having the the discussion. It's like, what are these people talking about this stuff for? And I, I kind of didn't have I I kind of gave her your answer, mm-hmm. um, but. I guess it didn't feel like, you know. Uh, read it, Adolf it's an Reed. Interesting conversation. I would read Adolf people, Reed. I think. And on on this specific topic, yeah. I would just like to add that um, the young woman doing the spiel about it for the most part last night, she was so informed, and she answered this question in part, oh, saying yeah. that um, there are very strong tenants' rights laws in New York, and. Yep. People might think they can be kicked out of their homes for doing this, but they absolutely cannot. Right. And a very important part of this work is informing people of their rights. Yes, hundred sure. percent. Sure. And one last thing I have, and then I'll uh, let you guys get on. There's this really good uh, article in Jacobin that came out a couple of days ago called "Under Neoliberalism, You Can Be Your Own Tyrannical Boss." About mm. how I have that neoliberalism bookmarked. is just concretely. Uh, and totally causing uh, just complete neuroses of uh, millennials, and I think it's great, and I think everyone should read it. No, oh, appreciate the call. Yeah, it sounds super interesting. Thank you. Next yeah. time, say hi. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Just make sure you do it well, and you do it with passion. <laughs> That's why it's organizing. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, Oops. you're well, you're on fire with the drops today, man. That's... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Seconded. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos. <laughs>